What's up, YouTube? So the Miami Dolphins have made a couple different moves today. Um, two releases, and we've also tendered a player as well. Um, the biggest news is the fact that we have informed Byron Jones that he will be released. Um, he will be able to start negotiating uh, with other teams come the 15th, which is next Wednesday. Uh when free agency opens up, but officially he won't be off our roster until after June 1st. Um, we did it that way just because the way Byron Jones' contract is looking, after June 1st, if, if the release goes by then, um, we will basically save a bunch of money <laughs> off dead cap. Um, so that's basically why we've designated it that way. Um and I'm not exactly upset about releasing Byron. He is a good player, obviously. Um, but I don't think he really wants to be here anymore. That's kind of the vibe that I've uh, been kind of getting. The coaches haven't outright said that, but that's kind of the vibe I'm kind of getting. And um, I know this is a Steelers quote, not us, but it still kind of applies. We want volunteers, not hostages. If he doesn't want to be here, he can go. Uh, that's a saying that Mike Tomlin likes to say a lot. Um so, it is what it is. Um, we have also released tight end slash fullback slash H-back, uh, Seathan Carter. Um, he, ha he really wasn't able to stay healthy for us at any point. He didn't really end up playing a whole lot. He's a decent player when he did get on the field, especially at H-back. He was a pretty good special teams guy as well. Um, but, I, again, I'm not really upset by him not being here. Um, I probably wouldn't have signed him to begin with, and Alec Ingold at fullback has really showed up for us, so um, I think moving on from Seathan Carter is a no-brainer. Um, the other one is that we have tendered defensive back Elijah Campbell. He really stepped up for us at the end of the year with all the injuries we had in that defensive back room. Um, and we had an exclusive rights button we could press, which basically means that if we put that tender on him, which we have chosen to do, um, basically, he can't negotiate with other teams. And we basically get him at a league minimum contract, which is great. Um, it's similar to what we did with Savon Ahmed last year. We had the same situation with him. Um, those exclusive rights contracts are great when, when, when you do get them. Uh, just press a button and, and they got to stay here for another year on, for league minimum at their position. Which is pretty nice. Um, pretty pretty solid depth guy and a guy that can play some special teams for us and like i said we got to see him play at, at safety for us at the end of the year because uh, we did have a lot of injuries in that defensive back room pretty much all season but especially by the end of the year so it is nice having him back at least another season for pretty cheap so definitely happy with that um also don't be surprised if you see a bunch of moves coming from the dolphins soon um, right now, we are about $17 million. Well, actually, after releasing Seathan Carter, we're about $15 million over the cap. And we have until the 15th, Wednesday, to fix that problem. Um, and Byron Jones, and cutting Byron Jones won't help with that because technically his contract won't be off our roster until after June 1st. So that doesn't help us with our current salary cap situation. So don't be surprised if we end up cutting some more people or restructuring people's contracts, maybe like an Emmanuel Agba. Um, we could possibly restructure his deal. Um, maybe Tyreek Hill. I don't know. Uh, but th there's some other guys that we can probably pull from, maybe Jerome Baker. Guys like that. Um, we'll see. Ho ho hopefully we can get some of that stuff done and really fix our salary cap situation because we're going to have to kind of hit free agency kind of hard. Um, we don't have a ton of draft picks, and we're not particularly good at drafting either. So I really want to address a lot of our issues in the free agency. And currently, if we don't re-sign anybody, we don't sign anybody, and we don't draft anybody at running back, we don't have a single running back on this team. Every running back we had last year was on a one year left on their deal. Um, that's why in the preseason I was, you know, kind of saying I wanted to keep Zonovan Knight, who ended up going to the Patriots, uh, and I wasn't wanting to put him on our practice squad because I knew someone would sign him, uh, and that's exactly what happened. Um, I was personally 
ready to cut either Savan Ahmed or Miles Gaskin and just run with Zonovan Knight. That's why that way we would at least have a running back on the roster. And sure enough, Zonovan Knight ended up doing at least a little bit for the Patriots last year, and Savan Ahmed and Miles Gaskin barely even played for us. Um, so it is what it is. Um, it's a rough situation, and we are going to definitely have to address running back. Um, tight end we're going to have to address because – I don't think we're keeping Mike Kosicki, nor do I really want to. He doesn't really fit the scheme anymore. Um, so, and, and even even if we did keep Mike Kosicki, we'd still have to resign him. So that's still addressing it. Um, and because I don't think Durham Smythe and Hunter Long is going to cut it. Uh, that, that's the only tight ends we got, and Durham Smythe is on one year left on his deal as well. Um, so we're going to have to address that somehow. Uh, left guard, right tackle, uh, linebacker, corner. I mean, you can always use edge rushers. Like we got, we got a lot of needs, man. We really do. Uh, punter. We got to figure out. I, I'd like to keep Thomas Morstead for another year if he doesn't retire. But again, he was on a one-year deal, so we're gonna have to do something. Either re-sign him, or re- if we don't re-sign him, we'll have to replace him somehow. Uh, and I think we should at least take a look at some kickers too. I'm not saying cut Jason Sanders right now because. If you look at kicker across the league, it's a, it's pretty whack. Uh, but I'd at least do your due diligence <laughs> on looking at some kickers. So, yeah, it's a lot of moves, and, and we, we're going to have to figure out some cap space. Because um, right now, we, like I said, we are about $15 million over the salary cap. So uh, we are going to have to figure that out. Um, and like I said, we, we can definitely restructure some deals and stuff like that, and we should be fine. But... Uh, we are going to have to make some sort of moves. but Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. If you liked it, appreciate hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.